Hello there YouTube people. Just thought I'd make a quick tutorial on making a golf ball. I know it's not very exciting but I was hunting around to try and find out how to make one for a project and uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video to show you how I actually ended up doing it. So here you go. Go up to create polygons primitive and then you want to go platonic solids and hit that. And then you want to go up to mesh, smooth, smooth up from box. So it's a good idea to reset your settings, so that's all good. Hit apply, close that, and then you want to go over to here to channel box and go on poly smooth faces one. Put method on linear, that's quite important you do that. So make sure you do that. And then you go up to divisions, you can either do two or three, depending on how many little faces you want, so um, I think I'm going to do three and then you want to smooth UVs left on, keep border off and then keep selection border off as well um, divisions per edge oh yeah, let me go back a second, hit that for two actually on divisions per edge, so three in that, sorry. And then push strength go 0.5, and then roundness 1.5, just scale this up, hit F, scale down the full screen. Um, and then what we want to do is go up to edit mesh and champ, cham fat vertex. And make sure you have this set to 0 0.335. Scale that. that. That's probably the normal anyway. Hit apply. And close that. And then you'll see that you have your little dimple shapes. Just make this up a bit so I can see what's going on. Um, and then you want to go to faces. Select all the faces. Then go edit mesh extrude, and it's important to make sure that keep faces together is turned off. Um, and then what you can do is a couple of ways you can do it. If you hit that, you can just pull them in a tiny little bit. Um, Seconds. Do that, and then if you press R, you can scale them in a bit. And then you want to hit G again to just do it again. And then let's go to scale and bring them right in like that. And then if you hit three, you should have your golf ball. There you go. And if you want to put some text on it, just go to the texture editor. Um, have a Blin maybe for this or a full go for blin, double click, colour, pull this right up, not quite right up, but pretty close. And then hit accept and then click on that, hold down, assign material to selected, and then hit space, channel box, and then you have your golf ball. Quick render to see what it looks like. There you go. Thank you for watching, and I found this quite useful to find out, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And hopefully, my next tutorial will be on something slightly more interesting. Thank you.